Hi, I'm Ben from InterNACHI. That's the International Association of Certified Home Inspectors. Let's learn how to inspect furnaces. Well, the different types of furnaces. There are four categories of furnaces. So let's take a look. Now, how am I going to learn that? Well, you go to our education page and you type in, in the search engine there, in the search field, HVAC. All right, and you have a few courses that pop up. Let's pick the How to Inspect HVAC Systems course. So we go there and you click the big green button to get into the course. And on the left side is the navigation menu. And let's take a look at the furnace categories. There are four. So let's make this a little bit bigger. Okay, so the 2018 um, International Fuel Code places four categories on furnaces. Um, and they're based upon the flue vent pressures, the gas temperatures, the flue gas temperatures, which relates to whether the unit is condensing or non-condensing, and vent pipe materials. And inside the course, there are, there's a table there with the four categories. Home inspectors inspect usually around the, the category one and category four areas. Um, category two and three we'll talk about later. So here's category one. Category one is natural draft, standing pilot, very old furnaces. You probably won't see them anymore. Um, they're not built anymore. And if you do see one, it's probably due for a replacement. A category one furnace operates with the flue at a negative pressure with respect to the combustion appliance zone, which is the room in which the furnace is located. And the stack temperature is really high, high enough to avoid condensation. So this type of category one furnace does not produce condensate. Older category one furnaces use an open draft hood that allows the dilution air to enter the vent pipe and mix with the exhaust gases. Let's take a look at this illustration. So we have the heat exchanger here of the category one unit. Um, we have the burner below the heat exchanger and the combustion air enters the heat exchanger into the burner chamber, heats up the heat exchanger, the dilution air, the draft hood is here and it enters the top and it goes outside into the chimney stack, right? Very hot gases, no condensate and no forced draft of the combustion byproducts. And then the circulator fan or the blower fan turns on, moves that air through the hot heat exchanger and out to the um, conditioned rooms of the house. That's the old low efficiency, less than 72% um, efficient gas furnaces that rely on uh, natural draft, draft to bring in combustion air and exhaust products. Um, there are newer types of category one furnaces that replaced the draft hood with a small fan referred to as um, a draft inducer fan or an induced draft fan, which pulls air through the combustion chamber. Um, although the furnace still relies on the flue temperatures to lift the combustion gases up the flue stack. The induced draft fan helps prevent backdrafting too. Unlike the category one old hood uh, drafts, you could have a backdraft. Um, once the vent pipe gets up to temperatures 140 degrees or, or more in Fahrenheit and the draft is established, the pressure inside the vent pipe becomes negative with respect to the um, room in which the furnace is located. And depending upon the model, the draft, the inducer draft fan may turn off but will uh, spin because of airflow. So, um, category one furnaces incorporate a, an, induced, uh, an induced draft fan. Um, and let's take a look at this illustration here. So here is the um, burner right there. And the combustion gases are pulled through the burner and um, uh, let's see. The, the, uh, 
the draft fan is here. So here's the draft fan. Let me start with the draft assisting fan. It's sucking those hot combustion gases from the burner through the heat exchanger. And combustion air is pulled through the burner, sucked through the heat exchanger by the draft uh, assisting fan, and then is pushed out essentially um, through the exhaust pipe into the chimney stack. And the blower fan is below that chamber, that burner, and it kicks on when the heat exchanger is hot enough and circulates warm conditioned air to the house. So that type of fan, category one, is a mid-efficiency between 80 and 82%. Um, we have an 80% category one mid-efficiency um, furnace in the house of horrors um, in Boulder, Colorado. Um, low efficiency, again, um, doesn't have that draft inducing fan that is pulling combustion gases through the heat exchanger. So an, an induced draft fan um, that's on a furnace is considered a mechanically drafted furnace according to the International Mechanical Code. However, because it relies on negative flue pressure to carry away the combustion products, it can, like the naturally drafted furnace, have the potential to backdraft. And backdrafting, when combustion gases spill down, the, um, down into the combustion room, the room in which the furnace is located, rather than going out the flue, um, that can occur because the combustion room can become depressurized with respect to the flue. Um, category two units, category two furnaces, right there, applies to some commercial furnaces, but no residential furnaces. So we don't inspect category two. Category three, there's category three there. Most category three furnaces are high efficiency oil furnaces with a gun type burner um, that force the fuel oil through a nozzle and emits oil, atomizes it, sprays it, and ignites it. And these furnaces have an efficiency range of uh, mid uh, efficiency, 82% um, um, to 88%. A category three furnace has a vent pipe that's under positive pressure and the furnace is not condensing. It won't produce condensate. That, that means that the flue gases are hot enough um, above 140 degrees Fahrenheit. And a category three appliance vents through the wall or roof and is a force draft, meaning it is equipped, equipped with a combustion fan that's located before the burner, before the burner, to push that air through the combustion chamber and out of the vent. Category four. Category four furnaces are um, high efficiency condensing units with a sealed chamber. Category four furnaces are appliances that have a vent pipe under positive pressure and the flue gases that are cool under 140 degrees Fahrenheit. The exhaust, the vent exhaust is so low um, because in a category four appliances, they're equipped with a secondary heat exchanger that further extracts the heat from the combustion air and it turns it into water vapor, a byproduct of combustion. And it condenses and cools into a liquid. And this liquid is drained outside or pumped outside, maybe through a condensate pump. Um, because combustion gases are directed through a secondary heat exchanger, more heat is extracted, enabling the gas-fired category four furnaces to achieve efficiencies greater than 90%. These are high efficiency heating systems. And here's a, uh, an illustration. Um, here's the exhaust vent pipe going backwards. Here's the secondary heat exchanger to collect that, that um, extra heat. Um, here's the combustion chamber. And up here is the burner in a sealed chamber. And the combustion air comes from outside, all of it. And it's in a sealed system. Um, the blower fan is here below the unit and kicks on and forces the air through the hot heat exchangers and uh, into the house. And there's condensate produced 
from the secondary heat exchanger and the exhaust pipe, um, and the condensate has to be handled. So um, category four furnaces should be installed as a sealed combustion direct vent appliance, which means their combustion chamber is sealed off from the room in which the furnace is located, and they draw their combustion air from outside through a second vent pipe that brings combustion air directly into the combustion chamber from outside the home. Because nearly all of the heat in the combustion gases is removed by the two heat exchangers, the vent pipe for category four furnaces can be made of PVC. So take a look at that. That, uh, those illustrations are pretty good, but from the Department of Energy Building America Solution Center, there are a couple other illustrations about category one um, furnaces. So let's take a look. So this is a naturally drafted category one gas furnace with a draft hood. And um, you can see the return air coming through the ductwork into the blower fan. And there's the combustion chamber there at the bottom of the heat exchanger where the flames are, um, standing pilot. Um, the heat exchanger is here. And the flue gases just naturally draft out, which combine with the dilution air from the um, combustion room. And it drafts out naturally out through the chimney. Um, here's a, um, a category one gas furnace with an induced draft fan. Um, something I'm commonly seeing in homes. Um, so again, there's the return air, there's the supply air through the heat exchanger, um, the blower fan to circulate that air. Here's the combustion chamber, the burners, and the combustion air coming in in an open combustion uh, burner area. Uh, the heat exchanger is here, and there's the induced draft fan, which draws that con hot combustion air through the heat exchanger and um, goes up through the flue gas pipe. Um, there's the category three um, uh, oil-fired um, burner uh, for the furnace. And then here's a category four illustration where we have the two pipes made out of PVC. Um, one is for combustion air coming in to the sealed chamber. Um, and then after the power exhaust fan, um, there's the PVC uh, products of combustion going out of the house. So I hope that um, short video um, helps you inspect the four categories of furnaces. And that's all in our free online How to Inspect HVAC Systems course, which is free at no cost to our members. I'm Ben Gramica from Internachi. See you later.